Hi guys, my name is Harsh and I hope everyone is doing good, staying safe and most important staying healthy. So in today's video, I will be guiding you through the progression of explosive push-out variation. Before we start, there are a couple of things I'd like to explain to you about this workout. First thing, do not try this workout if you have any shoulder or back injury because this workout requires explosive strength for progression. Secondly, if you're about to begin this workout, I would suggest not to try this on hard surface but my suggestion would be for you to try on um, either um, grassy or sand kind of surface. Um, explosive pressure will not only build your strength but with this workout you'll be able to increase your shoulder and muscle mobility and flexibility eventually it will build your muscle mass. Um, so lastly um, I have made each video in tutorial method for you to have better understanding. I'll uh, make sure that you can perform this workout on your own pace for the progression. All right, so let's jump in and start from basic to tough. First progression standard push up. Keep your arms slightly wider from your shoulder, then balance your body on hands and toe. Feet could be together or wider as you feel comfortable and your body should be in straight line. Keep your core tight and contract your abs. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you go up. Make sure to keep your core tightened throughout the push up. Do it about 20 to 25 reps, then we will progress to the next level. Second progression, plyo push-up. Plyo push-up help you to build strength, also activate fast twitch muscle fibers in your chest, shoulder, tricep and abs. How to do plyo push-ups? Go into high plank position, palm under your shoulder and core engaged. Keep your chest as close as on the floor because you need to lift your upper body up by pushing through with enough force. Do it about 15 reps, then progression to the next level. Third progression is single clap push-up. This is similar to our plyo push-up, but this time you need to use extra force for you to leave upper body up in the air for a long time so that you can do one clap as you go down. One of the most important techniques to lift your body up for longer, you need to lift your upper body up from your hip position. Once you lift your body up from hip position, then you'll have more time in the air. Do it about 15 reps, then progression to the next level. Fourth progression is hands flying push up. Go on to high plank position, core engaged and keep your hips slightly up. Keep your hands slightly forward from your shoulder. Practice to lift your body up from hip and push the ground with your hands as you go up. As you go up, open your hands in the flying position and bring them back as you go down. If you can't perform this push-up on flat surface, you can practice this on elevated surface. Once you'll be able to do 10 to 15 reps with proper form, that means you're ready for next progression. Fifth progression is staggered plyo push-up. This is pretty much similar to our plyo push-up. The only difference is that your arm placement in this push-up. Keep one arm below your shoulder and the other right above your shoulder. As you push your body up, switch your arm's position quickly. If you can't perform this push-up, then you can do this by bending your knees. As you slowly progress, do it without bending your knee. Regular practice finally lets you achieve this explosiveness. Once you do 10 to 15 reps, then you'll be ready for the next progression. Sixth progression is double clap push up. Keep your body in plank and your hip should be in slightly upward position. Push the surface with your arms and lift your upper body up from your hip. Bring your feet forward so your arms have enough time to touch them. This will build your foundation. 
Try this couple of times with hands slightly thrown into backward direction and finally you will be able to achieve double clap push up. Do this about 10 to 15 reps then unlock for the next progression. 7th progression superman push up. Do this push up in 2 steps. First step, follow our previous progression push up which was hands flying push up so practice this technique couple of times. In second step, you need to practice lifting your legs separately a couple of times to build your confidence. Now let's combine both steps together and try lifting arms and hands at the same time. This way you will be able to unlock your superman push-up progression. Once you confidently do 10 reps with proper form, you will be progressed to our next and last explosive push-up variation. Eighth and last progression, jumping knee tap push-up. We have unlocked our last progression of Superman push-up. So while you have unlocked your progression for Superman push-up, you have built enough strength and explosiveness for you to be able to do this jumping knee tap push-up.